Today it's a full get ready with me and I'm doing a deep dive into the Age Perfect line from L'Oreal. Is it really perfect for us over 50 gals with mature skin? That's coming up next. Welcome back, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Well, the day is finally here. We get to dive into the Age Perfect line from L'Oreal. They sent me the products a while ago. I've hardly touched them because I wanted to do a full get ready with me with you here. This video is in partnership with L'Oreal and I appreciate L'Oreal supporting us over 50 gals with mature skin. I'm so excited to be diving into this age perfect line from L'Oreal. I'm really curious to find out if it really is formulated in a way that's going to work well for us over 50 gals with mature skin. We have different needs than 20 and 30 year olds and to have a line that will really work, help diminish the look of our fine lines and wrinkles, I'm all for it. As always, all the products mentioned today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog so super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop into the makeup. My face is all prepped with my serums and moisturizers and of course my sunscreen. And I went ahead and did my primers. I used the Hard Candy Smoothing Priming Balm on my face. For eyeshadow primer, I used the Lorac. I'm loving this. You can see this is just a little sample size, but it's lasted me so very long. I really like this eyeshadow primer. And then on my lips, I have the City Beauty, the Clear Plumping Lip Gloss to give my lips a little bit of oomph while I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna change it up today and start with complexion. What we're working with today is the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. This is an SPF 50 and it says it's formulated with vitamin B3 and hydrating serum. This comes in 30 shades and they say it's radiant coverage that doesn't settle into lines, so we'll see about that. Today I chose the Golden Ivory and I was really kind of surprised that this color looked really good when I swatched it on the inside of my arm because it says gold. I wouldn't have thought that, but it looked pretty good so we'll find out how it works today. It comes in a little squeezy tube and I think the packaging on this is just so very pretty. I squeezed out about this much and we'll start with that. I haven't used this foundation at all so I'm going to find out about it exactly at the same time as you. It smells a little bit like sunscreen, like the pool in summertime. So I can say that it has a little bit of scent of sunscreen. I'm going to start working it over just with a brush. It feels very hydrating on the skin and it feels light. It doesn't feel heavy at all. This color looks to be almost a perfect shade match. It's going over the skin really easily and I'm not seeing any of that little polka dot stuff that I don't like when I use a new foundation. Now I'm going to go in with a damp sponge and just tap that out. I would say it's a light coverage, light to medium coverage. It looks, can you see that right there? It looks really skin like right now. And it really, it really looks pretty on the skin. I feel like it's a little bit lighter coverage than the Pro Glow, which is my current Holy Grail foundation that's also from L'Oreal. So it's a little bit lighter coverage, but boy, it sure does have a pretty finish. You know, one of the things I was worried about with this foundation is that it was going to be too glowy. And I'm finding for my skin, because it's wrinkly, <laughs> that if I go too glowy in a foundation, it just doesn't look good. So I'm really glad that this just has a real subtle kind of satin sheen. So that radiant isn't shiny, it's just kind of a nice satin finish. So here's the finish on the skin. I think it's really pretty. I really am liking that so far. Before I put on the concealer, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This does a really good job of kind of knocking down those dark circles under my eyes. Then I just tap that out with my fingers. And I always like to let it sit for just a couple of minutes before I put my concealer on so that it has a chance to sink into my skin and doesn't actually blend with my concealer. While I'm letting that corrector sink into my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. This is the Age Perfect Magnifying Brow Pencil, and what it says is that it is formulated with vitamin E, 
ultra blendable mineral pigments and ultra fine point so we'll see this comes in four shades and i went ahead and picked the blonde haven't used it at all yet so we'll be finding out about it together this is what it looks like it's a double-sided pencil so it has the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other let's go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand and see what color that is oh i think that's going to be okay it's pretty light so that's what the blonde looks like in the pencil you know it says ultra thin <laughs> I don't know if I would say that's ultra thin, but I think we can make it work. So I always like to start in at the bottom of my brows and kind of define that bottom line. And then just start filling in from there. This pencil is very soft. Well, it's coloring pretty quickly, actually. That's nice. I think this color is okay. I might have preferred if they had had a taupe in the color selection they didn't they had four shades and i think it was black brown charcoal and blonde or something like that so there wasn't a taupe selection in there and that's generally what i use i have to work extra hard on this side because there's a couple of gray hairs in there one thing i can say about this pencil is it's really really soft so look at that tip is almost gone just from doing my two eyebrows so I think you probably have to sharpen this fairly frequently. Now I'm going to go in with concealer and this is the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. This comes in 16 shade and it's formulated with hydrating serums and glycerin. And it also says that it's a radiant finish that doesn't settle into lines. I have to tell you guys, I've used this one time before. I really couldn't resist and I was pretty impressed with it. It's a little bit different than other concealers and I'll show you why as we start working with it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit at the base of each eye so you don't need very much and then I'm just going to tap that with my finger and kind of blend it out and then I go in with a sponge and then just really put a nice finish on it with that sponge so look at the finish on that concealer isn't that pretty <laughs> what I can say about this concealer that's different than the other concealers I've been using lately is that it's really light and what I mean by that is that it's not light covered so much the formula is just really light so it really does make my under eyes look less older or less crepey because the formula is so light I can't say the coverage is not as complete as some concealers I've used so that's why I really want to use that corrector before I use it but I think it has just such a pretty natural finish underneath my eyes I'm going to set that concealer now with my number seven Lift and Luminate powder. I love this as an under eye setting powder. So tap just a little bit on my little angled elf brush and then very, very gently just place that right underneath each eye. So there's the complexion so far. One thing I can say is that it looks really, really natural, particularly underneath my eyes. It looks fresh. And I think that the foundation just looks really skin-like. So not real full coverage, but definitely a very, very pretty finish. I'm going to try to stick with L'Oreal products as much as I can today. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze. It. This is brand new. I bought it to go with this Get Ready With Me today. I haven't used it before. So this is what it looks like right here. And I thought that color was just really, really pretty. So going in with my e.l.f. tapered brush, I love this brush for a bronzer. I always like to bring it down underneath my chin <laughs> to kind of cut a chin line there. And then around my hairline. Doesn't bronzer just do miracles to just glowy up the complexion? I'm going to go in now with the Radiant Satin Blush. And this is formulated with Camellia Oil. I've actually used a few of these blushes over the past couple of weeks. And one thing I can say is the formula is very different, again, than a lot of blushes that I use. And I'll show you how it is as we start applying it. This is the color Rosewood. I'm just going to put a little bit on my blush brush right here and start tapping it out. And what I can say about these blushes, and you'll see it as I put it on, they're very sheer. In other words, there's not a whole lot of color that goes onto your skin, but the color does look really sheer and really just like a light blush of color, if that makes any sense. So I think that what they've really done with this collection is make the products very subtle and very, very flattering. So this is Rosewood, and you can see it's just a very nice, subtle wash of color on my cheeks. I'm just going to blend that out. And you can see it's just really very subtle but very pretty. 
For highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Lumi Glotion. I've had this for such a long time, I've never used it. And the Age Perfect line doesn't actually come with a highlighter, so I thought this would be a fun one to add to add a, just a little bit of highlight to the top of the cheeks. I've got the color 902, I believe it's Light Glow. I haven't used this before, so we'll just see together how it does. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, right here, right there, and then I'm just gonna tap that to the tops of my cheeks. Oh gosh, Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, I'm gonna bring just a little bit down to the front. Wow, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Other side. So what do you think? I think that looks really pretty. I'm gonna do a very simple eye today. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and wash the Stay Matte Powder all over both lids as kind of a base for what I'm gonna do next. Just gonna swirl my brush in there and then just very, very gently smooth that over both lids. Now I'm going to use this little L'Oreal Single. This is one of their single matte eyeshadows and the color is matted up and I just thought that was so pretty for a crease color. So I'm going to take a little crease brush, dip it into that and work it into the crease area. This is such a pretty soft crease color. And then I'm going to bring that down just to the outside third of the movable lid. Now I'm going to go in with the blending brush and just blend that all in. I think that looks just so pretty. Isn't that a great crease color? Now I'm going to do kind of a little wild card thing. I'm going to take the Lumi Glotion again, just put a tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to pat that over my lid and just kind of give a little bit of glow to that lid area. I think this will be really pretty. Isn't that pretty? I really like that little trick. Next up is the Age Perfect Satin Glide Eyeliner. It says no tugging. I'm happy to hear that. This is formulated with mineral pigments and it says it's waterproof, so that'll be cool. Okay, it comes in three shades, black, brown, and charcoal, and I'm gonna be working with the black today. It says it does not migrate and it does not smudge. <laughs> So we'll see about that. Comes in this little plastic pencil like this. The tip itself is very, very thin. I kind of like that. It's an automatic pencil, so no sharpening. And I'm just gonna start with that on the upper lid. Boy, they're right. There, it is no tug. It's very, very creamy. This pencil does go on really, really smoothly. I'll be interested to see if it doesn't smudge because the formula is so soft. Now I'm going to go in with an angled brush and just smudge that liner out so it looks smoother on my little bit older lids. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same pencil to tight line with, and I'm really interested to see if it does transfer onto my lower waterline or not. So I'm just working that really up into the base of my upper lashes, just really trying to get a defined line along that lash line. You can see the difference between two eyes with the tight lining here and no tight lining there. It really does define that lash line, and I think it makes the lashes just pop that much more. Now to the part that I've really been waiting for. You guys know that my favorite Holy Grail mascara is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I've been using it for about six months now and absolutely love it. This is the Age Perfect Lash Magnifying Mascara. I believe it comes in three colors, brown, black, and brown, black, <laughs> I think. I've chosen black for today, so we'll see. I'm excited to give it a try. Comes in this really pretty tube gold top. I think they really did a beautiful job of the packaging with this line. And just a standard mascara wand. So I can say right out of the gate that it is really lengthening. It doesn't look so much as a volumizer to me as a lengthener. So there it is with one coat. Can you see those? It really does lengthen your lashes. It doesn't go on as fuss-free for me as the Unlimited Mascara, but I'm not sure that the Unlimited lengthens like this does. So I'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit, put on a second coat, and then we'll take a look. Here it is with the second coat. What do you think? I think it does a great job of lengthening. I like the deep, dark black color. I did see a little bit of clumping both on the first coat and the second coat, so I don't like clumping very much. Other than that, I'm really liking the formula. 
Now we're gonna finish off with a satin lipstick and these lipsticks are really, really hydrating. I've tried a couple. This is in the color Pink Petal and here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Isn't that just so pretty? The Age Perfect line does come with some lip liners but I didn't have one that was gonna go with this lipstick so I went ahead and pulled out one of my NYX lip pencils to go with this lipstick. Isn't that just the prettiest color? Again, that's Pink Petal. I think it's just such a glorious pink. Here's the thing about these lipsticks. They remind me of the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. Remember the ones in the little clear tube that kind of look like a little cut crystal? That is one of my favorite lip formulas of all times. These are like that formula, only almost more hydrating. They're really so creamy on the lips. It's really amazing. I'm kind of curious to see how long they last because when they're this creamy, I don't really equate that to long lasting lipsticks, but it does say that it lasts a long time. So we'll have to Here see. we have the finished look. I have to say, I think the makeup came out really, really beautiful today and it's so light and so fresh that I think they kind of nailed it as the age perfect line. In other words, it really doesn't settle in to my fine lines and wrinkles and some of my fine lines aren't so fine. I mean, they're pretty deep wrinkles. I'm really, really pleased with how the makeup came out today. The Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation looks so natural on my skin. It didn't settle in my little pores and give me that little polka dot thing and I think that it has just the right amount of radiance. Look at my complexion. I did not set it with anything and I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm a fan of this Radiant Serum Foundation. I don't know yet if it's gonna knock my Pro Glow out of the top position, but we'll see. I'm really, really liking the way that my skin looks today. I'll have to say that the concealer kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting a lot. But what I can say is that if you have deep creases underneath your eyes and you haven't found a concealer that is light enough to not make your deep creases look deeper, give this a whirl. I'm really liking how it's looking underneath my eyes. I can't say it is the most full coverage concealer I've ever used because it's not. I think that if you have dark circles under your eyes, you're probably going to want to go in with a color corrector first and then use this. But I can say underneath my eyes. It really does not look heavy. It's not making my fine lines and wrinkles look any worse. And it's doing a good job of really smoothing out that under eye area. The Age Perfect Satin Blushes. I've been actually using these for a few weeks. This is what I can say about these blushes. It is a beautiful wash of color. It is not a heavy color on your cheeks. It's really a much more subtle coloration than that. So you can see it on my cheek. If you're looking for heavy blush color, this is not going to be for you, but if you're looking for just a light wash of glow, I think these blushes are perfect. I know sometimes when I put too much on my face, it doesn't look good. So nice wash of color. If you're looking for a lot of color, this is not going to be for you, but if you like a little bit of a subtle blush, these are perfect. The Age Perfect Liner really performed well. It did blend out really good with my angled brush, and I like to do that because on my wrinkly lid, I have to have a more blended out eyeliner. It is my tight line for today too, and it really has not transferred that much into my lower waterline, no more than my Sephora gel liner does. And I generally just take a little Q-tip and wipe that off. So pleased with this, I used the color black today. The Age Perfect Brow Pencil, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about this one, and I'll tell you why. I wish they had it in the color taupe. And the formula itself is so soft. Can you see the tip of that pencil right there? I pretty much used that whole tip just doing my two brows today. So I'm wondering if this is gonna last very long if you have to continue to sharpen it every time you use it. It is a nice formula. It did fill in my brows quickly, but I don't think that it's anything exceptional as far as that goes. Of course, it has a nice little spoolie there. This satin lipstick, I think this is such a pretty color and it is so hydrating on my lips. I'm really curious to see how long it's going to last, but I do think the color is really pretty. These new lipsticks, there's two formulas in the Age Perfect line, and I think they each have about 10 shades. What I can say about the shade range, L'Oreal, are you listening? <laughs> is that I wish that there were more softer colors, more nude colors, more nude pinks, more just nudes in general. For me, the shade range is really dark. There's only a few lighter colors, and me being glow-in-the-dark white, there weren't that many choices. 
If they had more nude colors in the line, I would really like that, and maybe they're going to come out with more in the future. But I'm really appreciating this petal pink today. The L'Oreal products that I used that weren't in the Age Perfect line, I liked all of them. The eyeshadow is a really pretty crease color, and it went on beautifully. This Lumi bronzer was quite a surprise. I think it's so pretty. It put just the perfect amount of definition on my face. And oh boy, do I have a favorite new product, this Lumi Glotion. Wow! I really liked what it did for my cheeks and being able to put it on my eyelids for just a nice subtle glow. No glitter, none of that stuff. So I'm really, really loving this. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of this in my upcoming makeup videos. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the L'Oreal Age Perfect line. I can say I'm pretty impressed with the line overall and I think it works perfectly for us over 50 gals with mature skin. They really kind of nailed the formulation to help our skin look as fresh as possible. If you found this video useful and helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just thrills me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.